this video I'm going to be working out an individual limit. Um, I am going to, in my algebra steps, I'm going to use the fact that the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine kx all over x is going to be k. I allow my students to um, use this known limit and then in their algebra steps it makes it a little bit easier if they can manipulate it so that they've got a sign of some number x all over x then they know it's going to go to that number. Okay, so in this limit um, we're going to first do a direct substitution to make sure that it, it really is an indeterminate form so I'm going to plug 0 in. I'm going to have 5 times 0 plus the sine of 0 and then on the bottom we'll have the tangent of 0 minus 7 times a 0 times the cosine of 0. Alright, so that's going to be a 0 plus a 0. That's clearly going to give me 0 there. Alright, and then this is going to be 0, and 0 minus 0 is going to be 0. So it is an indeterminate form there. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do first off is, um, and, and this one really, it, how did I know to do this? there really isn't a way to know how. You're going to try something It's not going to work. You're going to try something else. It's probably not going to work again. All right, I've definitely got a sine to cosine here. I've got a tangent here. If I can get rid of this tangent, I'll have it all in terms of sine and cosine. That's probably going to be the best approach so that you've got some things that you can ma manipulate around with that. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as sine over cosine. So I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0, the top is not going to change, so I'll have my 5x plus sine of 3x. All right, and then in that denominator, I'm going to rewrite this one as the sine of 4x over a cosine of 4x, and then minus the 7x cosine of 2x. All right, let's go ahead and put some brackets around that just so we know we're taking the limit of that entire thing. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to divide through by the highest power of x in the denominator, which is um, a skill that you learn on limits. I'm seeing this x right here as being the highest power of x in the denominator. So I'm dividing through by the highest power of x in the denominator. So then that's going to be the limit as x approaches 0. All right, and I'm actually going to show the division throughout the whole entire thing. So in this numerator, I'll have a 5x over x plus a sine of 3x over an x. In this denominator here, I'm going to break this up so that I can show the division by x a little bit easier. And I know I'm, I want this, so I'm going to put the x under the sine of 4x. So move my piece of paper there. I'm going to have the sine of a 4x all over an x times, now I still have that cosine of 4x, so I'm just going to go cosine of 4x. Okay, and then minus this 7x cosine 2x all over x. Make that long. All right, so I divided each term, each of the four terms there, by the highest power of x in the denominator, which was a plain x. All right, now next step I'm going to go through, and on this next step I'm going to simplify. So here I'll have an x over x. All right, this is going to stay. I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to leave this alone. And on this one, this x and this x are going to cancel out in my next step. So I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0. All right, in that numerator right there, I'm going to have a 5 plus, we're going to leave that sine 3x over x right there in the numerator. We're going to leave all of this in the denominator as is. So sine of 4x over an x times 1 over the cosine 4x. All right, and then minus, I can get rid of that fraction there because the x is crossed out. I'll just have a 7 cosine 2x. Make that a little bit longer. We're taking the limit of all of that now. All right, now doing this, now I can see that this part is going to go to 3. This part right here is going to go to 4. Here and here I can do a direct substitution. So I'm actually ready to start calculating the limit here. Okay, so um, the limit <clears throat> as x approaches 0, 5 is just going to give me the 5 there in the top. And this, we know because of this, goes to 3. This, we know, goes to 4. 
All right, if I do a direct substitution of zero right there, I'm gonna have one over cosine zero. Um, so that'd be one over one, which is just gonna be a one. All right, and then plugging in zero here, cosine zero is one times that seven is just gonna give me a seven right there. All right, adding across the top is gonna give me an eight. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna have a negative three, which gives me an overall limit of negative eight thirds. Okay, so uh, definitely a couple of things there that you're not necessarily going to know until you just work lots and lots of limits. All right, but getting rid of that tangent and turning it into sine and cosine, very, very helpful. And then having this quotient here allows you to use that rule where you divide through by the highest power of x in the denominator from there to there. And then implementing this rule makes those two parts of the limit go really easily. So definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Thanks.